Testing, testing, testing. Hello, everyone. My name is Adam. You are on the Flipgrid Film Festival. I'm at Adam Short Shorts. I'm joined today with some friends. We think there's a slight delay, but I'm going to welcome them on. And um, don't don't worry, everyone. If you're tuning in and you're like, I, I feel like it didn't get started yet, this is the red carpet pre-show. And so welcome to the red carpet with me, the savvy educator, Jornay. Hello, everyone. I, okay, this is the red carpet, but if I put up the banner, then we can't see your savvy handle. Oh, wait, yes, we can if we do this. Here we go, everyone. It's the Savvy Educator. Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. All right, and joining the Savvy Educator, we have Jess Boyce. Okay, we got to get rid of this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. Yes. Welcome, Jess, and with us, it is the Ed Cosmo. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, boy. We have one more on the broadcast. Everyone, join me in welcoming the one and only Grid Bell George. Woo! I love, I love that announcement voice, Adam. That was awesome. Hey, now hey, you have the carpet. I've been practicing. Earlier, I went live on Instagram to like promo this, and I think that's I've been practicing the voice. Doing those vocal warm ups. Yeah, everyone been doing that. Uh, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay. Hey, great. Right here. Uh, match me at this pitch. You didn't. Okay. A bunch of surprises in store for this evening. Um, if you're just tuning in, hold on, now I can do it. So all our Twitter handles you see, we'll share them again later, but I'm gonna remove the Twitter handles and so that we can do the red carpet thing. Ready? Welcome to the red carpet, everyone. Woo! Now it's real. Okay, <laughs> what's up? We're all joining from, from unique locations with respect to social distancing. Um, so, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious where where probably everyone is, but maybe we can share anyway. And if you haven't figured it out yet, I am I am alone at the office. Um, sanitized in, we'll sanitize out. Um, but Jornay, you're next to me on the screen. Here, I gotta figure out which way to point on this new thing. Yeah. Jornay, where are you tuning in from? I'm in New Orleans, Louisiana, everyone. So welcome from the Big Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, just where are you tuning in from? I'm in St. Petersburg, Florida in the sunshine. Hey! Oh my gosh, wait, and before, okay, George, we're going to you, but first, aloha from Maui. Aloha! Aloha, Maui. aloha Brian! Delaware, hello, Delaware. Delaware. wow! Hey! Hello. Oh, Clearwater Hey! Hey! Okay, okay, George, where are you tuning in from? I am also from the bold north. I am actually about uh, eight blocks from Adam right now in my own home, uh, watching live rock as you see on the TV here, but uh, excited to tune in uh, despite that from the- They the said north. six feet and we said eight blocks. Yeah, we got to one up here. <laughs> um, and, and where are you tuning in from? I am tuning in from South Florida, just north of Miami. Hey, lovely, lovely. Okay, and we, and we got some more cheers. Hello, oh wait, hold on, I just saw a hello from Chile. Am I seeing? Hello, Kristen. Hello from oh, Chile. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello from Texas. Texas hi, hi, hi. 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 If you're just tuning in, you're not late. You are part of the pre-show broadcast right now. As you can see, partially covering my head, the film festival is coming <laughs> up in a minute. So you're super not late, or nor are you too early. You're right on time. You're, as we like to say, right on time. I was going to say, on Flipgrid time, I'm right on time. <laughs> Wait, and do you want to explain? Oh, and hello, still from Texas. I don't know how to remove these, these comments. Um, we're using new software. Um, hello from Panama. I think oh, I exactly hello. There we are. Um, and do you want to, well, no, sh shall we, shall we go? Shall we get this started? I mean, on my clock, we're already a minute late, but I like to work in the future. So it's 7.01 here in Miami. Hey, okay. <laughs> Um, welcome everyone. We, I would be Jordan, you put the popcorn for me. We practice a little <laughs> <Jordan. laughs> over. Jordan, golden, gold. <laughs> oh my, oh my, no way. Jordan, what? Yes, yes. ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Beautiful. Popcorn ready. <laughs> okay, well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Flipgrid Film Festival. Um, if you're just tuning in, you're right on time. We are getting started. Here's kind of the flow for the evening. We're going to share some updates, give people a little bit more time to get on and find the broadcast. Um, if you're joining us in the future, that is to say, if you're watching the recording, um, feel free to enjoy this or scrub ahead a little bit. Um, you'll see when the when the, when the the rich content from Jess and Jorne come and we talk about App Smash Madness and all the cool things. But since we're all here and since we're all gathered um, in this digital fun way, 
um, we thought we'd share some updates. So let's, without further ado, let's go. Um, we like to start every broadcast by thanking you because we truly cannot say it enough. We are so grateful that we get to work with you and your fellow incredible educators all around the world. So thank you so much for everything you're doing all the time, especially now to engage and empower and amplify and connect your communities. Um, and our mission, it, it's right in line with our mission um, to, and you can be, empower every learner on the planet to share their voice and respect the diverse voices of others. This is so important all the time. And again, especially now, and this is only possible because of you. And so once again, we thank you um, for making our mission possible and, and for giving us a reason for being our why. Things coming up. Right now, as you can see, we're on YouTube. We are, as some of you will know, new to the YouTube. Um, but there's a lot of cool things going on. So th this is the first time we've, we've done a broadcast of this nature on the YouTube, but there's some amazing new YouTube content. George, do you wanna talk about the Merrills? Yeah, I'd love to. So if you know, Joe and Kristen Merrill have exceptional content of how you can use Flipgrid in your class, going through different features as simple as like stickers and importing pictures and just like ways to engage your students. Uh, I definitely one I love is the camera shy one. If you have any students that you know might be reluctant to share, uh, they have all the tips and uh, tricks for you to do that. So definitely check it out. They've, they've packed our YouTube, but they have some great, great ideas. So we are on the YouTube, as you can see. Oh yeah, you we're on the YouTube. <laughs> where else are we? We are also, of course, on the Twitter. And so all night long, hold on, we have a cool banner for this. All night long, tweet your questions Ooh, like and then your insights. You're gonna have a lot of, you know, Jess and Jordan are gonna be sharing a lot of inspiration from fellow educators, but you might see an idea and think, Jordan, if you think it and it makes you wonder, um, so you might wanna tweet it. So tweet it. <laughs> At Flipgrid, George is on the on the Flipgrid account. Um, George, everyone's on the Flipgrid account. So tweet it out. We'd love to hear your insights, your questions. Um, we're not going to be able to get to every question tonight, so put it on the Twitter, and we'll do our best to to hit you up. Um, but some other excitement on the Twitter. We have our Flipgrid for All chat. Um, this is the bi month bi monthly. Yes. Does yeah. that mean twice a month or every other month? It depends on the person. I think it means twice a month. For us, it's twice a month, the Flipgrid for all chat. Um, and, and Jess, do you want to talk a little bit what happens during a Flipgrid? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the Flipgrid for all chat is just a great place for educators from all over to come together and celebrate education, talk about innovative ideas and just amazing things that they see. So you'll actually see some examples here um, from Jason Blair, from Melissa Hayes, and then even from Kevin, who's uh, one of our developers who's on the chat as well. So you get a chance to talk with us and as well as the larger Flipgrid uh, staff. Hey, and we're always on the Twitter, but we have two upcoming chats. And so yeah. if you want to join one of these upcoming chats, well, it, it, I'm going to, I'm going to save the more fun content for you, Jordan and Ann. Um, it's May 13th and 26th and times to be determined, but stay on the lookout on Twitter. Also we're on the Twitter, as I mentioned, but we, you might, you may or may not know it. My name's Adam. You're here with Jordan, Jess, and they'll give some more formal introductions, George, our boss, Joey, but we've had some new team members join the engagement team. Um, so if you're not already following, we highly encourage you to welcome aboard to the Flipgrid community, Angela, Bobby, Connor, and Michael. And if just for example, among all the incredible things these people are working on, Michael is the one behind the epic videos um, that you've been seeing and you'll see some tonight. So if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, you'll see. What else, where else are we? Um, so many slides, so little time. We're on the Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us what happens on Instagram. Hey, so many awesome things are happening on Instagram. If you're not plugged in over there yet, please definitely get connected. We sometimes bring some behind the scenes views. We do a lot of Insta Live with awesome friends like Mike Smith and partners like, oh my gosh, Nearpod maybe. We just did a, a thing with them on Facebook, but we have some really cool new Insta Lives coming up. Adam, you and I often go live on Instagram, sharing a ton of resources, a ton of ideas, and celebrating the incredible things all of you are doing to empower your, your learning communities and student voice. So get connected on Insta too. At Flipgrid. <laughs> We're at Flipgrid everywhere, as, as you can see. What else? Also the Facebook. Um, we're on the Facebook, as the kids are calling it. <laughs> the Facebook. The Facebook. <laughs> we call it the Facebook. Um, so we're on the Facebook. But I also want to point out, in addition to social media, we realize um, 
that it can be hard to be everywhere. And so we also have some opportunities for you to connect with us off of social media, but still, um, I was going to say in person, uh, not in person, but live. Um, Jorne, Jess, and Anne host all the time these Flipgrid onboarding sessions. So if you're learning about Flipgrid for the first time tonight and you're super excited, as I'm sure you will be, of the ideas they're going to share and you're ready to get started with Flipgrid, check out their one of their Flipgrid PDs. Um, here's, the, here's the aka.ms. Pop that in your browser and you'll be set to go. And the other thing is I want to point out, we're going to share a lot of links throughout this broadcast and I will email them after the broadcast. So if you miss something, hey, you can scrub back, but also know they're coming in an email. We also have the Flipgrid Help Center, which is a great place to you know, find any questions, find help as, a, as, it, as it says, if you need help, we're here for you. Um, and quite seriously, we're all here for you all the time. So please reach out anytime. And with that, this is, this is the time of the broadcast. I, I warned you, George, we love you so much. This is when we oh, we bid farewell to our friend. Hi, George. Oh, George. Uh, but you will be with us. George, we appreciate you, and we will see you on the digitals. And we'll see you again. See you on the spheres. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, George. Okay. We are ready for the broadcast. And specifically, as I mentioned, we want to talk about like who you're, who's on the broadcast. Who And so very briefly, my name is Adam. I work on the engagement team, but this is not about me. Tonight, we're super excited about talk with and about Jornay, Jess, and Anne, and all of you. And so let's start with Jornay. Do you want to share a little bit about you? Hey, friends. I am Jornay. I'm one of your educator innovation leads, which means I'm a teacher helping teachers. So I was a second grade teacher. I worked as an administrator, an instructional coach. I worked for the State Department of Alabama as an instructional technology specialist and was a mentor to coaches all around the nation. So I love helping teachers. And so feel free to reach out to me at any time. Let's check out our next friend. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much, Jornay. Jess, do you want to share about yourself? Of course. Hi, everybody. My name is Jess Boyce. I'm one of the other educators on the team. Um, I was in middle school. Uh, I taught middle school math for 10 years, and I was actually using Flipgrid in my classroom and just absolutely fell in love with the ways that it could empower my students. And so um, I also fell in love with teaching teachers and helping others. So I knew that I wanted to join the team so that I can empower more students because I was empowering more teachers. Beautiful. Thank you, Jess. And Anne, tell us about yourself. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Ann Cosma. I'm a former first grade teacher. I absolutely believe that even our youngest scholars can rock technology in meaningful and innovative ways. After I left the classroom, I became what we call a TOSA or teacher on special assignment. And I was supporting a K-8 school district for four years before joining Team Flipgrid. And I love, love, love being a teacher, helping teachers and just connecting with all of you. So we're so glad you're here tonight. Fantastic. And not, knock on anything, would, would, whatever. I all right. Really on time. Did but, you hear it? And what were you we gonna say? I said, did you hear it? I'm knocking on wood that the rest of the broadcast goes without hiccups because we're ready to roll. Adam, are you ready for me to take this over? And take it over. Thank All you so right. much. Rock on. So everybody, we just want to say thank you so much for joining in the Flipgrid Film Festival tonight. Tonight it is all about the four C's and it is a celebration of the loudest, raddest, most innovative community on the planet. And that is you. So as we get started, please know we are here to celebrate your awesome ideas and what you share out. So just know tonight we're talking about the four C's and Adam, go ahead and go to that next slide because you know, we're blown away by incredible ideas that you take even beyond the four C's like our awesome friend, Sylvia, who added in citizenship and character education to get to six C's or our friends, Kathy and Becky, who have a new book coming out about the seven C's of education to get ready to say all those seven C's. But tonight, as we talk about this, we are going to focus on the four C's. And when we reference them, we're talking about collaboration, creativity, critical thinking, and communication. And that, it'll, that will root all of the incredible shares we talk about from the community tonight. 
Yeah, and as the foundation of the four C's, these four describe those skills as we as educators and our students need for success in our complex, data-rich, and rapidly changing world. And we all know, like, let's say two months ago, we had no idea that we would be in these remote learning situations. So the ability to think and work creatively um, and work well with others remotely, problem solving and critical thinking, analyzing information is so important to students. And we can't forget about um, students just sharing their ideas through various ways of communicating communicating. So with Flipgrid, every March for the past three years, we have hosted an event called Flipgrid App Smash Madness. Now this event uh, is one that's near and dear to my heart because we highlight educators that come up with these incredible ideas to transform learning in their classroom. And so they share how they can take Flipgrid and their favorite apps put them together and come up with something brand new. So you can always access their awesome app smashes at the mixtape shown on the screen right now or using the flip code app smash 2020. All right, the first C we're going to highlight tonight is doo -doo -doo -doo. So the cadence, uh, before we get to that, the cadence of tonight is going to be that we're going to go through updates that are inspired by you all. We're constantly listening to the community and seeing what ways we can improve and make Flipgrid even better for you and your students. We're going to go through some of those app smashes and really unpack the content there, but then also tell you some new features and ideas within to be able to use Flipgrid to bring those ideas to life. Our first C. All right, there we go. There's our first C. So our first C is collaboration. The world is our classroom. And you as educators, you build a more supportive and collaborative and empathetic world when you give your students the opportunity to collaborate with one another. So we're going to dive right in and talk about some of the um, app smashes that we saw. So the first one here is Elaine Topham. And we found that collaboration isn't just about people, right? It's also about tools and different resources that we use. So Elaine showed us how we can screen record with PowerPoint, use OneNote, Stream, and all these other Microsoft tools in collaboration. And then the next one, Donna, she used Flipgrid and ThingLink to make interactive videos so that they could take, students could take their videos and take them to the next level by tagging and adding additional resources and different ideas. And then Shari used Photoshop Mix and Adobe Spark in order to capture school events and put them collaboratively together to share on Flipgrid. But we're gonna dive a little deeper into one of them. And this person was actually the winner of App Smash Madness. <sighs> Hi, my name is Randall Samson. I'm excited to share how I use Wakelet, Immersive Reader, and Flipgrid to empower every voice. All right, so Randall had the big three crossover move. He did use Flipgrid, Wakelet, and Immersive Reader. And this app smash detailed how to really enhance and differentiate the learner experience by creating a collaborative digital magazine for his school community. So let's check out some other ways that we can use Flipgrid and Wakelet. We can create. Yeah, so Dornay, um, talking about these ideas, I love that big three crossover that Randall shared, but these ideas that you're about to, um, I know you switched the screen, the yearbooks, friends, if you are capturing memories, capturing those milestone moments, spirit days, digital art showcases, this is, this is a space where everybody can contribute. And I love that when you think about a shared digital collaborative space and a collaborative blog, if you were to think about that, whether you're documenting a learning process or making learning come alive in brand new ways. Um, I know there was a really cool example that Dr. Bruce Ellis shared about collaborative science investigations to level up their observational skills, inferencing skills. but. Friends, I, I, I have somebody that, that needs to say hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> say hi, Stanley. Everybody, it's flat. Hey, Stanley. Stanley. Hey, hi, Stanley. Stanley says hi to the Flippers. <laughs> Festival. But everybody, one of my favorite collaborative shared experiences is something that our good friend Sean Forty started when he started passing these all around the world. 
and using Flipgrid AR and Wakelet for that shared global learning adventure. So even Andy can even, you can see on the screen, his Stanley was doing those flower angels during some science experiments. But you can, you can make learning come alive with any of these collaborative experiences. My Stanley went to the Miami Zoo a couple months ago. So I love these ideas to extend collaboration with Flipgrid and Wakelet. And so right inside of Flipgrid, we have some features that actually foster collaboration. So we have a reply feature, which really will take your student discussions to the next level. And we've added screen recording, which brings new possibilities for um, student group presentations or discussions, whether you're using Microsoft Teams or maybe Google Meet or Zoom, students can screen record those conversations or those presentations and have them right inside of Flipgrid. And let's check out some more updates. collaboration. Team Flipgrid collaborates daily with educators to get new ideas to make Flipgrid yeah, even better. At least we have each other. Hey, I think that was me. I had Twitter going on and I totally like derailed the thing. A video started playing, trying to follow a hashtag. Keep going, Jordan. We're all good to go. Um, but in the spirit of collaboration, our team at Flipgrid collaborates with educators daily to create new ideas to make Flipgrid even better. So educators wanted an easy way for their students to enter the grid without going to a Flipgrid website. So our amazing team built the Flipgrid Edge extension and the Chrome extension to get you there in one click. So check. Hey! Um, so now this brings us to our next seat creativity. And this is one of my favorite ones because creativity really begins all in your imagination. And after that, the possibilities are limitless. All right. So some of the awesome app smashes we saw this year was number one from Andy Knieven. If you don't know Coach K, he is incredible. And so he used image play to basically take an image or a video or a GIF, stickers, etc. And he put it together to be able to put it inside of Giphy. Now, if you haven't realized it, you can add a GIF to your Flipgrid focus topic. And guess what? You can use image play to get it right inside of there. So thank you, Andy, for showcasing that for us. The next app smash that we're gonna highlight is Sarah and she used Tinker. Now Tinker is a coding app. And so she really wanted students to um, just use this game-based coding application to really reflect on their process of coding and learning how to code. And finally, we had Sean Forty and he used a triple app smash with one second every day in Pro Mosaic. Basically, he collected photos and videos throughout the school year of the students, and then they uploaded this to one second every day and took that video and put it inside of Flipgrid. Now, here's the catcher here. You can actually save that video as an AR QR code and create a pro mosaic of all the QR codes um, to make one cool picture. And you'll have all those one second a days inside of your um, student yearbooks and what a, a fun way to save money too on yearbooks so thank you so much sean for sharing that with us and the one we are going to highlight tonight is from our friend priscilla heredia hi everyone i'm priscilla heredia and i'm excited to share with you how i use TikTok and flipgrid to empower every voice all right so priscilla showed it an incredible way of how to really use this app that we know students are absolutely loving. I know my daughters and I have been enjoying um, doing TikTok dances, but basically Priscilla created content 
that show demos for critical thinking and creativity with her students. And so her students had um, a student run business that they created commercials for, and she actually uses it for her teacher examples to enhance video um, lessons for her instruction as well. And so let's check out some other ideas in how to use TikTok um, with Flipgrid. So um, right now during school times, this would be the time that you would have a school-based talent show. So now you can take that digital and um, you'll be surprised that the talent students can actually do at home and not necessarily on a stage. So check that one out. In addition to that, you can have daily dance contests. Everyone needs a brain break, right? So um, get your dance shoes on and just kind of boogie on with your class. And then finally, we have singing challenges. And so whether it is um, a daily singing challenge or a weekly uh, challenge. This is a fun way where students can just um, just sing their favorite songs and, and build each other up during this remote time learning away from school. And so we want to share a couple ideas from our community. So um, we have an awesome uh, tweet right now, Senorita Hannah. She's actually lip syncing in Spanish for her students. And in addition to that, the next tweet is all about PE. So what a fun way to use TikTok to be able to do some PE challenges with your students. And then finally, the next one actually uses a Flappy Bird app. Um, and the students can do push-ups as they're trying to um, go between all these Flappy Birds or even squats. I think Mark is showing different ways that students can do exercises by app smashing Flappy Bird in Flipgrid. So thank you to all of the educators for sharing out all their wonderful ideas. Let's check out some new camera features from Flipgrid. Hey everyone, Jess here, and I wanna show you six features of the Flipgrid camera that you and your students can use to take the creativity of your videos to the next level. The first is text emoji and inking, and you can do this one of two ways. You can create what you want before you record, or you can create while you're in the recording phase. Any of these features work while the camera is rolling. Next is one of my absolute favorites, whiteboard or blackboard mode. This creates a blank canvas where your students can use any of the features that I mentioned earlier. Text, digital inking, and emojis all work right there on the whiteboard or blackboard. Third is the stop motion video. This can be done by starting and stopping the camera multiple times while recording by pressing the pause button. Next is uploading. Click these three dots next to the record button and students have the option to upload a video. This allows your students to create elsewhere and then app smash them into Flipgrid. Also in those three dots is the screen recording option. Students can share their screen and bring presentations to a whole nother level within Flipgrid. And finally, the last feature happens in the review step. You'll get there by clicking this next button. You can trim or rearrange clips in order to fit your creativity needs. We can't wait to see what fun and creative ways you and your students use these features of the Flipgrid camera. Hey! <laughs> we can't hear you, Adam. Adam, come back in, come back in, unmute, <laughs> unmute. You're that that pesky mute button that you think we have all been working remotely for so long, we all would figure out. But I just think that's something that's not part of human nature. We're not used to muting. There's no, you know, <laughs> but it's good to practice not talking, uh, <laughs> as my teachers would have told me uh, back in the day. Anyway, here's what I want to say, because I said we would mention it, and then I forgot to mention it. That video we just watched, I don't, I don't know where it was, um, the video we just watched, is one of the videos that was created by the incredible Michael on our team, the Brandy Michael, and the incredible talent, Jess Boyce, for showing off all the features. Um, I'm so excited well, I, about all of those features. Because I said we would, so here we are pointing it out. Um, anyway, some other some other house, we're, we've talked about collaboration. We've now talked about, Jornay. We've talked about creativity as well, and we're on creativity right now. We love it, we love it, and so I'm going to leave and there's some more on creativity. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we love live. <laughs> All right. So um, here are some just awesome ideas with using those creativity features right inside of Flipgrid. Now, this first one is one of my favorites from the JT of EdTech, our hey. friend Carlson. Um, he tweeted out this awesome idea of Pictionary Flipgrid, like Flipgrid, right? Like what an awesome idea. You can use that whiteboard mode 
and have students or you like draw out something and then play those videos back inside the classroom and then have students guess in real time. What a fun idea. So much fun. Yeah. And then of course we just saw like the stop motion animation with Jess in her origami, right? <laughs> What a cool way to show like steps in a process or just have students animate over time. As students are learning uh, the basics of animation, this is a great way to start with stop motion with our pause and play feature. And then Fun fact, that was my first stop motion video. I ever oh, made. no way. Yeah. Phenomenal. That's so cool. <laughs> and then we have our friend Kersey from Jersey. Um, she always comes up with in incredible ideas, but this is the flip emoji scenes. And so with these flip emoji scenes, Kathy is really being so creative with using all of the emojis that are inside of Flipgrid. We do now have the full emoji set as well as the designs created by our awesome Cindy design. So definitely check those out because students can really take their learning to life with these scenes, whether they're talking about um, a story that they're reading or a process that they want to share with other students. They can use all those scenes. Hey, I got my hand up. I got my hand up. I just <laughs> want to say something about Flipmoji scenes. I love sharing this as a great way, like an entry point. When people are playing to learn and pushing all of the buttons in Flipgrid, creating a Flipmoji scene is a perfect way, one of the many perfect ways you could explore and play to learn to see what all of the creative possibilities are. So I love this idea from our good friend, Kathy Krasnowski. Yeah. Thanks, Kathy. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hey. I'm back. I'm back to leave that, and then I'm going to leave again, I promise. But I saw this comment. Um, and so I wanted to talk about this really quickly. Shannon asked, is there, where can we see all the app smashing possibilities? And so in addition to the mixtape, I was thinking the Joe Merrill guide, how do you, I, I'm genuinely asking, do you know where to find it right now? Uh, we can find it because guess what? I'm on Twitter right now too. Hence that noise that I accidentally played a little while ago on the broadcast. Um, so if you're looking at Mr. Merrill's class, two R's, two L's, he has awesome app smashing guides. Um, I think it might be a pinned tweet on his account. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll find it and we'll retweet it out. Lovely. And, other, I, and I may be mistaken, I think it's on the help center if you search app smashing as well. But great question, Shannon. Otherwise, that mixtape is a great place to get started. Um, the app smash mixtape, where you can see all the ideas we're discussing tonight, and where I mean the incredible Jess and Jordan. All right, with that, I'm leaving again. Thank you so much. <laughs> Shannon, you can always tweet out at us as well, and we'll make sure that we uh, respond and get you those links too. Yeah. All right, so now, um, right now, we have a video going on. Um, and this is all about our update about audio over your video. So if you didn't know on your mobile devices, you can actually play a song and then start your Flipgrid camera and your audio will be right inside of your video. So this is a really cute one with the little shark song. How does it go, guys? Baby shark do 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 do. <laughs> we don't know the song. Um, so have fun with that. And now we're going to take it over to another C. Woohoo! So we're going to talk about critical thinking next. And when we're talking critical thinking, we're talking about analyzing, examining, rationing, rationalizing, and solving problems. So we're going to look at some of the app smashes that occurred that talk about critical thinking. Um, so Stacey Roshan showcased Sutori in Flipgrid and she had students reflect on prior work and then talk through their growth and their connections made. So they actually recorded a Flipgrid and then recorded one way later talking about all of the different things and the ways that they grew. And then D actually shared Flipgrid and something called Solve in Time, which allows students to solve real world problems through design thinking. And then Anna discusses a whole plethora of tools that students can use to collaborate, curate, and share with their peers. So Quizlet and Kahoot, Wakelet, Sway, Flipgrid, there's endless possibilities of ways that you can use different tools in order to spur critical thinking with your students. All right, and let's take a look at another one. Open the curtain.
All right, so our friend Amy Storer, who we couldn't quite hear, but what she was talking about is how she highlights vocabulary in her app smash. And this was such an amazing thing for me. I had never seen Flocabulary's Lyric Lab before, but it took students all the way up Bloom's Taxonomy where they get a chance to uh, create an original song based on what they've learned and implementing vocab from their lesson. And Amy even rapped for us about food chains. So that's definitely a video that you're gonna wanna check out. It is incredible. But it got me thinking, what other fun ways are educators using Flipgrid and Flocabulary? So Flocabulary is actually one of our fabulous Disco Library partners, and every week they have a different uh, week in wrap that they post, and it's a topic that's right there in the, in the Disco Library that you can go and grab and use with your students, and it's all about current events. So they're wrapping different things that are going on in our world right now, and it's a really great way to engage students with what's going on. We also found um, historical figure rap battles taking place, which is as awesome as it sounds. Um, so it was actually William Shakespeare versus Biggie Smalls and analyzing their lyrics. And then another idea that we saw Brett Miller do with his students was uh, writing and recording raps about figurative writing. So Flocabulary also, hi they highlighted awesome ideas for National Poetry Month that you'll see in this tweet here. So poetry lessons, rhyming worksheets, and then that Lyric Lab again, um, which like I was saying with Amy, it actually brings in uh, their vocabulary from the lesson, but then it also helps the students. It'll give a bunch of different words that rhyme so that they can kind of put together their own rap and it's so, so cool. So definitely check out Flocabulary. And then some features that you can use to make these things happen on Flipgrid. We've got the text and emoji features so you can write your lyrics right on the screen whenever you're recording. We've seen teachers, uh, oh, sorry, I thought someone was jumping in. <laughs> We've seen teachers utilize shorts. So you can see over there on the right with our friend Andy, um, utilizing shorts to record instructional videos, reteach lessons. You can see that Andy actually embeds his into his daily Canvas posts so that his students know exactly what's going on, what they are doing, and they can see a video. And there's just something so, so beneficial whenever students can actually see the video of their teacher explaining as well. But then um, also different ways to get them thinking critically and making deductions. So mystery readers, guess who, masked singer. We've seen quite a few masked singer uh, tweets going out, which is so much fun. So educators are using those emojis. You can see in there in that tweet from Christine, they're using our sticker features and covering their face and singing. And then their students have to figure out who it is, which is just, this is kind of a stressful time for a lot of educators and students. So it's something just fun and low pressure to get students engaged and just having a great time. And Jess, um, you know what? I, I think this is a perfect example of if you can think it, you can flip grid it. Yeah. So think of all those shows that you're watching right now. How can you take those concepts and bring it over into Flipgrid? Exactly. And have you all seen the tweet from Katie Wardrobe? I freaked out when I saw this. I love it. And I want to say something about this yeah. while I'm talking. Okay, sure. So she actually used the whiteboard feature and then text. And she used an emoji, so a sticker, and was moving it along as she recorded and made her own follow the bouncing ball sing along for her music students, which I remember I loved those Disney sing alongs with the bouncing ball. So it's just such a super fun and creative way that she can share with her students. So I'm always inspired by what educators are sharing and tweeting out. And this past week, I started recreating some of the things that I've seen. So that flapping bird, like push up squat challenge, I actually recreated that, documented the process on my own Instagram. But last night I stayed up and I made two different bouncing ball videos for, listen to this, former first grade teacher, right? I come back to phonics, phonemic awareness, all of those like word working skills that you do with your young scholars. So I made one for diagraphs and I made one for short vowel sounds that I'm going to share out. But it was like, follow the bouncing ball, ch say ch, 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 ch chick. And it was just like, the <laughs> I was going to say funnest, but I know that's not a word. <laughs> it was the most fun and most creative. So when I say, and when we all say we're inspired by the ideas that educators are sharing, mm -hmm. people, like it's this collective brain zing of awesome ideas. 
take them, use them, remix it, and bring it into your own classroom. And that's why we call this the loudest, raddest, most innovative community on the planet because people are just sharing epic ideas and I love them all. I love them all. Jornay and I actually got a phonics lesson with Anne today. She showed it to us and we went through. <laughs> yes, yes. Truly um, live right for all. It's yeah. all encompassing. Yeah. We love. Um, a couple comments. And yeah. then, so I thought I'd jump in. Yeah. Um, and I should have clarified this earlier. I apologize. Jennifer brings up a great point. It would be great if we could do a step-by-step um, and also shout out to Claudia, same, uh, same request. You can, and I should have mentioned this earlier when we mentioned the mixtape. All of these educators, so everything that Jess Ann and Jordan are talking about, these app smashes, they've walked through step by step exactly how to accomplish the app smash. Um, and once again, that's at this mixtape um, plus app smash madness. So, I, Jordan, this is Jordan's, like, Jordan's been doing this three years. This is your project, Jordan. <laughs> Um, so do you want to mention anything about like, because I think it's, it's not only the step-by-step, -step, but they also touch on the why. Am I wrong? Oh yeah. They, they really talk about the why. And so when we're app smashing, you first have to think about what is the purpose of what you want to do anyway? And then you start thinking about what tools do I have available to make that thing happen for me? So, um, you know, just for example, some of the app smashes that we highlighted tonight, um, maybe it was something that Flipgrid just couldn't do alone at that moment in time. And so the educator had to think critically, well, I know about this other app. I can use this app and I can download my video and then upload it into Flipgrid. And now it becomes something new and different. And so it's really that simple of a process, downloading and uploading um, into Flipgrid and using all those features that come with all of these wonderful educational technology tools. Totally. So yes. So as we move into our final C, um, know that everything we've covered is is just Anna Jornay's like, like as Jornay always says to me, I think I've already said this. Uh, well, A, if you think you can flip grid it, but also you see something and it makes you wonder, or what is the exact phrase? You notice, you I, notice. No, <laughs> notice and wonder. So oh, I, I notice that Flipgrid has all of these features. I wonder how I can use them in my classroom. There we go. So a lot of noticing and wondering. So this is an extension of that mixtape. So if you check out the mixtape and then come back because you might be seeing amazing ideas and you're like, yes, I want to do, Jess talked about week and wrap. I want to do that. Um, so you might see the app smash and then revisit this webinar to see what kind of brain zing ideas, as my as my colleague Ann here would say, what brain zings you might have um, to then explore these app smashes further. Look at we can all point. Okay, okay. Yeah. In addition to that, Adam, I know there may be some brand new um, Flipgrid uh, educators on with us today. And tonight is all about just a celebration of innovation. But if you're looking for how to get started with Flipgrid, and Jess and I are here for you every single day, actually tomorrow, we have a webinar. So we will take you through what is a grid? What is a topic? How do you get started? All those camera features. So Adam, thank you so much. You are so amazing. Right here. You can go to this link and sign up for Flipgrid PD and we will be here for you. Lovely. Okay. And now some more updates, but first then we some do updates. some updates. Yes. Awesome. So like we said, we've been listening to your ideas and feedback, and there's been some really great things that have launched recently. So we actually uh, increased the video response time. So especially as we're moving to remote learning, we heard so many educators say, hey, five minutes is not enough. We want to hear more from our students. We want them to have more time to share, to reflect and create. And so we now have up to 10 minutes for the video response oh, time. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> We've also increased our custom rubric scoring so that it's now on a scale from uh, zero all the way up to 100. So you can really be intentional about what it is exactly, what point values you want, and you can go ahead and set those so that you can give feedback to your students right there within the platform. That's one of my favorite things to share when we're doing PD is how folks can like make any custom criteria for any learning goal. And again, it can be as simple or sophisticated as you want, but I love that rubric tool. I love it, I love it. Absolutely, absolutely. And one of my favorite new updates, it's small but mighty, the new sticker pack with um, these beautiful arrows that Cindy designed. So you can see here, our friend Johnny actually uh, has his students making medical diagrams and he's using those gorgeous arrows that Cindy created in order to point to the different things um, 
and it's just they're beautiful and fun. Um, hey, Anne. Hey, what? Tell us, tell us about the next C. Oh, I'm so excited to talk about this. Our last C tonight is communication. And just as you all are the heartbeat of the Flipgrid community, the heart of communication is when students share their unique voice and respect the diverse voices of others. So we're so excited to share with you a few more ideas. Let's go to the next slide. So we start with Mr. Merrill's class, the one and only Joe Merrill, who had this epic app smash where he combined, okay, listen to this, Word, Immersive Reader, Sway, and Flipgrid. But Mr. Merrill's class, he is a first grade teacher, so he is empowering his youngest scholars to communicate complex ideas. And I love this because they take their writing, they check it in the immersive reader, they edit as needed, and then they transform it into a sway to share their learning and communicate big ideas. So it's super cool that they can also upload their own digital work with any Flipgrid response that they share. I love this idea. Um, the next one is Alfonso Mendoza and Alfonso paired up Merge EDU with Flipgrid to rock multi-sensory learning. And I love this because it's tactile, it's kinesthetic, it's visual, and it's auditory and all these different methods that use that awesome Flipgrid like screen recorder feature to capture the learning. And then they can just put it right inside their Flipgrid. And I love, I love that idea. So the next few things, if you go to the next slide, we are going to um, hear from one of our friends. Hi, my name is Shannon Miller, and I'm excited to share how I use Buncee, Pebble Go, and Flipgrid to empower every voice. Okay, I love this. So shout out to Shannon Miller, who shared this incredible research journal project where she combined Buncee, Pebble Go from Capstone, and Flipgrid. And the cool thing about this is she had her scholars and her readers share their excitement and their knowledge while they leveled up their literacy information skills. So the beautiful thing about this is that that Pebble Go feature made the learning engaging, visual, meaningful, and fun. But I love this. Think about making learning come alive with a Buncee. And then the Flipgrid piece allowed them to share their thinking and their creativity. And what they were doing is sharing a visual voice. And I love that the bonus pieces, students could reply to each other with those awesome Flipgrid student to student replies. So if you weren't aware of this, there is a Buncee integration right inside Flipgrid, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. But we have one more friend we want to hear from. Hi, my name is Jake Miller, and I'm excited to share with you about how I use Headliner app along with Flipgrid to empower every voice. Oh my gosh, I love this. Jake shared a super epic idea where you can share anything with others. And what he did in this ab smash all about podcasting was taking a video file and mixing it into an, like taking an audio segment and mixing it into a video file, if that makes sense. So it's this super rad app smash use, using the headliner app. And then he made some magic happen and captioned some, you know, some um, captions and made these custom, graphics you can animate it you could do a karaoke style but you take that auditory piece and create it in a visual element and then what is that doing it's sharing it's celebrating and it's showcasing authentic voice for an authentic audience and i love this app smash that takes that video file from an audio segment what a, what an incredible app smash so a few extension ideas for this. I love when you think about response to literature. And one of the things I'm so passionate about is readers sharing their authentic reading lives. And whether that's a books, you know, a book top, a, oh my gosh, I can't even say the word talk, a book talk, um, you know, Tara Martin's idea for book snaps. In high school, things like book speed dating, 
or you could dig deeper to bring the magic of reading to life and celebrate ideas or figurative language or meet interesting and new characters inside the pages of a book or travel to, to new and exciting places right inside your imagination. So tons of possibilities when you think about responding to literature. And when you think about utilizing Flipgrid or how you could empower communication skills, think right about that peer-to-peer -peer discussion and utilizing that student reply feature right inside of Flipgrid. You could ask your classmates to you know, solve a problem that you create or ask them questions about their own presentations or extend that dialogue in any number of ways as you provide feedback, generate questions or or continue on that rich discussion right inside your own topics. Now, the last extension idea is all about podcasting and I love what Jake shared, but I just have to tell you all, as a first grade teacher in my own classroom, my why was empower authentic voice for an authentic audience. And now as we find ourselves in these remote learning situations, it's such a great time to be exploring and find new ways that you can empower your scholars to share their learning. But again, try new ways to have them think outside the box or, or share what they're thinking in outside the box ways. So why not think about classroom podcasts or a small group podcast or even you podcasting? So um, I just love when you think about the possibilities. And a few other ideas that we're going to share on the next slide. Um, communication looks different for everybody. And sometimes it's not even spoken word. But I love what Will Carlson shared. This is um, the first tweet on the screen when he talked about using the whiteboard feature inside of Flipgrid. And he is using that undo and redo button to share mathematical thinking. And it like is one of those mind blowing moments where you could literally walk through how to solve a problem for a reteaching tool, a skill group intervention, or your own lesson instruction. So the power of the undo, redo button right inside Flipgrid is magical as well. Um, if you as an educator are not familiar, you have that built in feedback tool, but you also have the reply feature and you can use all of those creative Flipgrid camera tools to provide not only a reply to a student, it doesn't even have to be spoken, it could be text based or emoji based, but that built in feedback tool is so powerful. And Jess mentioned customizing the rubric. I love it. I love it. And friends, the last little feature we're going to talk about, Adam mentioned when he came back in, and I'm so glad you asked, how do you find all these ideas? Where are they? They are on the App Smash Madness 2020 mixtape. And I love mixtapes, not only because I made them as a child in the 80s on my boombox, but because it's that epic highlight reel and you get to share those mic drop moments and in any way that you want. So, uh, you know, I love a good mixtape and I've been using the mixtape feature to create something and share it myself. So on the screen, you can see that um, I started to curate my own podcast on Flipgrid. It is built completely on Flipgrid. And as I go through, my goal was to share global voices of educators, of administrators, of coaches, of librarians, of music teachers, of PE teachers. And I got started early this year and we've all taken, you know, a path into focus on remote learning, but there will be new episodes coming soon. And if anybody wants to check them out, check out those mixtapes, um, plus voice podcast one or plus voice podcast two, or you could use the flip code voice podcast and check out how I'm setting up my own podcast on Flipgrid as well. Um, hey, Jordae, what time is it? Do you know? It's update time again, friends. You asked and we listened. So check out this next update. I'm going to let... <laughs> It's all
fight you hard for you. Freedom! Keep your ear to the ground. We're talking about the freedom! It's the best show in town. Best show in town. Freedom! Hey, I'm dancing. I don't know if anybody can see, but I'm dancing during all of those updates. Friends, that grid notifications update is how you can save your inbox. Jeff Journey, daily, weekly, or never. What is your choice? Never for me. <laughs> <laughs> because I go in and I check, so I don't want to have have all the extra emails to me on. Yeah, and for me, it depends on the grid. So if you know you are giving your kids assignments every single day, I may not have good notifications on for that. But if I have a community that maybe they're replying maybe once a week or whenever they're free, I do want those notifications so that I can check those grids. So it kind of depends for me, Anne. Yeah, I agree. Point. I, I want to change my answer. <laughs> I oftentimes turn them off, but I would agree that on certain grids, I do want it. I want to know what's coming in, um, but I'm very particular in how I moderate certain grids or not. So I love this. And it's just one way that you have the freedom and flexibility of controlling your own grid notifications. So um, the next idea, friends, we heard from Shannon Miller earlier sharing that epic Buncey Flipgrid app smash and you know she is so passionate and we believe so much in people sharing their authentic voice but I love how Buncey provides folks to share a visual voice as well so if you have not checked out that awesome integration right inside your Flipgrid topic settings Buncey is one of the incredible options you can use when you're creating Flipgrid topics so I just love, love, love how that's a creative way to empower your scholars. So yeah, those are some awesome communication ideas. Love it. Hey, George, is that a, uh, is that a popcorn bucket? It is. George, you're muted. <laughs> George, clap. <Yeah. laughs> hey, okay. It's an empty popcorn bucket. Truly it's empty. That means we're done. Hey. That means we're done. Hey. Oh. I shouldn't have said that. Stay on the line. We have a few more updates. Yeah, because I have more popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we all finished our popcorn. Look at the bucket. <laughs> um, okay, incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Thank you so much, Jornay, Justin, and always and every day, I'm so honored to call you my coworkers and my friends. Um, so yes, Let's just take a moment to take like a breather okay. here. Let's so, while you guys are taking a breather, I'm just going to keep talking because I got a lot <laughs> to share still. Okay. Beautiful. When I say, and all of you on the team hear me say this every single day, but I'm going to take the chance to say it again. I cry happy tears every day when I look at social media and the things that educators around the world are sharing. We are blown away in the most incredible ways. It fills our hearts, it fills our buckets to see every which way you are sharing smiles, you're encouraging your community, you're using Flipgrid and incredible innovative tools to empower your scholars. So on behalf of all our team, this is not the last, we're not done, but I'm gonna take this moment and say thank you and say it again, thank you for everything you do to empower every voice. And Anne, it's happening right in the chat. So I couldn't get on the, the YouTube um, chat to respond back, but oh my goodness, so many of our amazing community members are answering questions live. Um, and just so, just note, that is the Flipgrid family, mm -hmm. um, the Flipgrid for all. Definitely come on Twitter or any social media. If you have any questions, reach out to us. And we do have that PD tomorrow. So if you're just getting started with Flipgrid and want to know more, we would be happy to have you with us. Yeah, Adam, could you throw up the link for PD again? Yes, here is that link. Perfect. And to reiterate, like what has been going through the whole entire broadcast, Flipgrid, like I think Ann kind of alluded to, is just the tool. Like this community, this Flipgrid family that Jornay is saying is, is helping each other in this live chat. You're the ones that make Flipgrid so magical. Like we're just like a team that like is supporting you. You guys make the magic of Flipgrid is and so powerful for every learner that gets to share their voice and become confident. So thank you, thank you so much. Yes. And with that, should we share some final updates? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, so a very another exciting Michael video coming up. So stay tuned. Um, <laughs> I I love his videos. New in the Disco Library, we've added three tiles recently. In addition to all these tiles, BBC My World 
is this incredible midi, media, media literacy series with episodes. It's like episodes for your scholars to watch or your children. So it doesn't have to be a school lesson. Anyone can watch these amazing lessons and then reflect with topics in the Disco Library. Breakout EDU, Anne, do you want to talk? Yeah, so I love Breakout EDU. I have been a fan since the company got started more than a handful of years ago, but they have shared 30 something plus breakout games that you can click on that tile, whether it's in your learning community or with your own family and friend community, check it out because it's hard fun. It'll make you think, but it's game-based learning. Love, and then finally, Jornay, do you wanna talk about the uh, learning from home? I was gonna call at-home learning. Whatever yeah. you wanna have the home tile. So this is a special tile that we've actually actually curated topics from educators throughout our community and some of our partners for you as educators to use with your students or for families to use with their children during these um, at-home learning um, scenarios that we're going through right now. So feel free to explore those. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us. There's now 17,000 topics in the Disco Library and more and more are being added every single day. Um, we're trying to keep up as much as possible. So if you're adding to the Disco Library, thank you, thank you so much. And your topic will be in there very soon. Lovely. And speaking of learning at home, Jess, do you want to talk about remote resources? Yeah. So if you go to this link right here, we've got tons of remote resources happening. Um, you know, like I said before, this is a strange time for all of us as we're all moving to classrooms that look different than they ever have. Mm -hmm. So we've got some great PDFs there just about how to get started. It's actually translated into eight different languages. We have some great resources and activities for uh, parents to do with their students ways for them to get, or with their children, excuse me, and their students, uh, ways for them to get connected on Flipgrid and get started. So check out that link, definitely. There's tons of stuff there for you. And just as you're talking, I'm looking in the chat box and I just want everyone that's on to know everything within Flipgrid is 100% free. So all of that content in the Disco Library is free. Flipgrid accounts are free. Only the educator needs the account. The students don't need an account. So free, 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 free. Hey, okay, and I know this is later in the deck, but talking about more free fun celebration, I, I can't wait any longer. <laughs> we have another video for you all coming up in two months. Roll the clip. When I say Flipgrid, you say live. Flipgrid, Flipgrid. What is up everyone? As you can probably tell, this is not your typical presentation. We wanna see you, our online audience, we wanna hear you. Everyone in the room, we wanna hear you. If speaking your truth is your why, then I say, why not? I want you to feel empowered in your community, in your classroom. Yes! Yes! Let's do the biggest wave for wave ever. Start the back up, Ms. Black! You as educators are truly impacting this big, beautiful world more than any profession on it. The greatest thing about your job is all you get to do is empower every voice. And we want to thank you so much for doing that. And we are so, so grateful and honored to be able to support you as you take Flipgrid and you use it in ways that we never, ever imagined. These could very well be the stepping stones that change a student's life. You told us that you want to put student voice everywhere. So with that, we're introducing Flipgrid AR. I gotta say, this is the rowdiest group of misfit educators I've ever been in front of in my entire life. I'm crying. Oh, wow. Every time oh, I cry. Every time I cry. more resources. I just couldn't wait. So oh. we would love, here, actually, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. If you're as excited as we are for Flipgrid Live, so excited, I'm gonna put the this link up and then we'll backtrack. We have a certificate if you'd like, but we'll put this, oh no. It covers George. I'm, I'm sorry, George. <laughs> uh, okay, there, you can still hear me, yeah? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll get rid of the banner. We'll get back to this, to Flipgrid Live. I mean, yes, we'll, we'll get back to Flipgrid Live. A few other resources. <laughs> Jess is laughing because this is how every meeting with me goes. And I, <laughs> I thank you all for bearing with me in my sporadic thoughts. Um, 
So <laughs> social, speaking of being self-aware, so I didn't even mean to do this. Social emotional learning. There are, Flipgrid is all about social emotional learning. Um, Jornay wrote an entire blog post on it. There's topics tailored to, it's like a meta social emotional learning experience in the Disco library. I've found just a few, there are so many. Jornay, do you wanna speak just a little bit more broadly on, on SEL with Flipgrid? Yeah, and so we know, especially during this time right now, that um, students' needs just need to be met in so many different ways. And so whether you're in the classroom or at home learning, um, students really need to be self-aware um, and be aware of not only themselves and others and how they learn, um, how they communicate. And so we have a wealth of inside the Disco Library that can help you engage your students in learning about social and emotional learning as well as communicating their ideas with others. And we have features just built within Flipgrid that support social emotional learning. So definitely check out these resources and um, the, the blog is still up there somewhere. Um, we may want to think that out again. Why not? Also, thank you all for attending your certificate if you would like. And again, I will, I will email out this link so don't feel like you need to jot it down. But if you want it right now, here it is for you. And if you're watching this in the future, if it's in the near future, it's probably still at that link. If it's in the distant future, there might be a new certificate there for you to find. So if this is the distant future, hi, hello <laughs> from the past. I love time travel. This is so cool. Okay, speaking of the future, join us in the future. May, oh, I didn't put the date on here. Oh, 26th. No. 26th. <laughs> May 26th. Um, <laughs> my goodness. Um, okay, I, and again, sorry, George. <laughs> for the next webinar and yes, on today we this again was our first go at this attempt i'm not saying it's going to be so much more polished but now we at least kind of have an idea of what's happening so we would love to have you join us again may 26th flipgrid for all the celebrations um and we'll pair it if you notice the date with the twitter chat so if you're ready to register for that you can register now there's the link again double link i guess um you can never post too many links i guess uh, we would love to have you join you. Love to have you join us. And I would love to join you. <laughs> Y'all, this is so fun. Okay. I'm buzzing. We have not been able to connect with all of you for so long. I'm just giddy with excitement to, to be here with all of you. Um, so once again, this is when we were gonna show that video. Um, and if you want to watch it again, just scrub back. Uh, I won't, I won't play the video again. I I will I will make that promise. Um but please register for Flipgrid Live. Just like everything with Flipgrid, it's free and it's a celebration. Um, in that video, you saw what Flipgrid Live looked like last year at ISTE with this motion to remote learning and remote working. We're bringing the party to your living room. So get excited, dress up, wear your loudest clothing, make like some popcorn with the savvy educator um, and get ready. Cause it's gonna be an epic celebration of you the things we're launching and a, maybe a glimpse at the future. So future me, if you're watching this at Flipgrid Live, what a move, that's incredible. And I'm wishing you a lovely evening. Um, do you, and do you Wait, want me before to go, I, I just wanna give a big thank you to Adam and to George for being on with us and organizing all of this. For everyone who is on tonight, no worries. This video will always be available on our YouTube channel. So if you want to go back and watch and get the, all those links that we put inside the video, you can, okay? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And Adam, Thank you have said that you're going to email out the links as well. So we have folks specifically asking about the certificate link. And friends, have no worries. As Jornay mentioned, Adam's got your back. All those links will be coming to you in an email. So once, no yeah, worries. once we hop off, the email's coming your way. Yep. Um, so one final, well, I don't want to leave. I don't um, want to leave either. I must leave. We've we have now gone over time. So thank you all for, for staying with us throughout this broadcast. Um, as as Jornay mentioned, this is available right now. So it's on YouTube and here it is still. So um, you can watch again. I'll send you the links. Connect with us. There's We're, we're on all the socials as we discussed. Um, and yeah, we'll end on this screen, but just any, any final thoughts. I, I've talked enough. Thank you all so much. This has been so much fun. Uh, it's been so great connecting with you and we're so grateful. Um, I'm grateful that I get to work with, with you four and with all of you who have joined us 
um, in this fun celebration. Together. Yeah, and just thank you to the community. You know, as we talked about, you all spur all of our updates. So all that's going on is from the feedback we hear from you. But even this entire webinar wouldn't have happened because it was just celebrating all the incredible ideas from members of the community. We are so thankful for you, for the incredible ideas that you share. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Anything else? I'm just wiping away my tears. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like hanging out with everybody, seeing the comments. It's just filling my bucket. So thank you all for doing what you're doing every single day. Thank you to all the folks who contributed to App Smash Madness, to everybody sharing out on social across the way. You are the loudest, raddest, most inspiring community on the planet, and we love you. Thank you. Jordan, do you want to bring us home? Oh, well, you know how I always close it out. Go forth and empower every voice, and we will see you on the grid. <laughs>